Good morning, floss tube. Feeling a little giddy here. It is. Look, May 30th, 9.50. Yes, I'm late this morning. 73 and mostly cloudy here in Maryland. Woohoo! Day after day, that's the way it is on the East Coast. Okay, so, May 30th. That means two more days. Two more days. I hated to say I'm a little giddy, actually. I'm going to miss you guys. I've had a lot of fun with this. But I will be ready for a break from the daily videos. There's been a lot of um, other floss tubers talking about um, a feeling of relief when Stitch Mania is over, especially those crazy ones of us that have done 30 days. And I know Julie and Gigi, I believe, they're still on the 50 days track. I haven't seen, well, Gigi put one up yesterday, Ginger. I haven't looked at that yet. Um, so anyways, but I've had fun. I have, I have loved doing, starting a new project pretty much every day. Um, I'm not having any anxiety over all of my whips at all. Just excitement that I've done it and that they're there waiting for me. Um, and that I will finish someday. So yesterday, as you know, I did my knitting. Um, I know the knitting thing isn't for everybody. That's fine. I hope you at least enjoyed seeing the process a little bit. Um, at this point on all the different... Boy, that is looking really um, blue on, on camera today. Let me push the light out of the way a bit. Um, that's better. Um, so I've posted this in several different places on Laura Nelkin's group on Ravelry, on Instagram, um, and then of course here on the video. At this point, this bead here, the third one, because I was just discounting these two as you remember, this is the one that's winning. I, I still can't decide. I have decided though, Laura um, posted on my picture on her Ravelry group that I should wait for the reveal tonight to see just how the beads are used. And that is what I'm going to do. I definitely have some favorites. I definitely still like them all. So yeah, we'll see how the beads are used. And I will talk to you about that again tomorrow so that you can see how the beads are used. I believe her pattern will only be available in, for club members. It will be posted on Ravelry, but will, it will only be available for club members, I think, until next year. I think she holds them exclusive for a year. So anyways, there is that. And I will, after she does the reveal tonight, I'll watch, wash that and block this swatch and see what my gauge is on those particular needles. So today's project, back to stitching is this Dimensions Kit, Welcome Friends. And as I mentioned yesterday, I have um, chosen a different fabric. This is a 32 um, count linen. Loving the colors of this. This will hang in our kitchen. I think that is so pretty. Mike and I like wine. Oh shoot, I'm sorry. I tried to get underneath you and not shake you and look what I did. Um, Mike and I like wine, so I want to have several different wine things. I found some other really pretty um, Russian designs. There's a oh a, I don't a store a web store on eBay that sells Russian. It it, it is a Russian um, cross stitch store, I guess. Get my light back into position here. Um, on eBay. It has some really cool um, looking patterns. I, I love the Russian patterns. I have several from several designers. I don't know whether you guys have seen the irises. There's one designer that does these gorgeous, large, large, large. It's hard to show large on this tiny screen. Um, irises that are, are just beautiful. And I, I own one of those. I own a couple of Maria Bravko's. Um, I have the winter in, in a cup and spring in a cup. Um, seems to me there's something else. Another Russian one that I have. Don't remember now. There's a Russian one that I need to buy once my allowance kicks in again for June. Um, that I need to buy and start for my son for Christmas. Um, seems to me there's another Russian one, but I can't remember it. Oh, a deer. 
there's a really pretty one of a, a deer, kind of a watercolory one that I got. But anyway, so this this design, like I said, is a Russian. It's a Russian. Russian's on my brain now. That's not good. Um, is a dimensions kit. Now this is one of those where the floss comes on one of these things. And you know, it, it looks kind of nice and innocent up here in the top. Oh, look how nice and orderly it is. And then you get down here where it's just been like snarled in and out of the bag and you just kind of have this, this kind of crazy looking mess. But that is okay. That is not a problem at all because all you do is pull a piece off of here and then just pull up and that one thread just pulls, just pulls all the way through that snarl and it does not cause any problems at all. So it's the nice thing about fibers. It works the same way with knitting if you have like an intarsia thing going on or um, anytime you have a bunch of a bunch of things hanging down you can usually just pull up on the one and it just pulls right through. Now that's not to say that yarn doesn't get snarled whenever you're <laughs> trying to wind it into a ball or, or yeah there's been a lot of times that we've had snarls that we've had to deal with at the store but yeah <laughs> we have a couple customers that love unsnarling like the, the ladies that would sit at the table and knit and anytime we would have a snarl they're like oh give it to me I'll take care of it we love those people so let's see what else has happened since yesterday because you know I lead such an exciting life um didn't get my workout in this morning as I mentioned my friend Marnie who lives here in the apartment complex with me who's my partner in crime for the morning workouts um, she has been staying up all night for multiple nights here working on this photo album that we're making for our friend Rosemary hopefully Rosemary doesn't watch my videos because <laughs> this is supposed to be a surprise um hold on looking chart there we go so um anyway she's been so involved in that and not sleeping that we haven't been exercising i did get out onto the treadmill yesterday i haven't yet this morning so hopefully i will get that done now marnie calls herself a bit of a vampire she has no problem at all staying up all night and doing this kind of thing me i would be a zombie and I would be a very grumpy zombie, <laughs> but not Marnie. Suits her fine. And this is going to be such a great, oh, makes me cry looking at all the different layouts and all that Marnie has done to put it together. It's really going to be special. But it has also inspired me to get working on my own albums. So our plan has always been to um you know with all these trips that we take I, I take a ton of photos i think i've told you guys that before and when you're in a place like new england for 10 weeks where every time you turn around there's a gorgeous view there's a gorgeous village there's a gorgeous building um and one thing you guys don't know about me yet is i absolutely adore um well i adore old barns but I adore um, old doors and windows. I could do a whole album, just a compilation of of doors and windows that I've taken pictures of because I, I just, oh, I just love them. They're fascinating to me. But anyway, so so tons and tons of pictures. So the plan has always been to get them into photo books. I've only completed one. So we did, well, in the time that we were in Florida, when we both had summers off, Hold on, got to count again. Um, let's see, so we did 10 weeks in New England, eight weeks in the Southwest, five weeks in Florida, and eight weeks in Colorado, Montana, um, that area. So, um, I've only gotten the Florida album done. I got that done the, the right after we got back. 
and that was only five weeks, so that was actually the shortest of all the trips. I still ended up with, I don't know how many pages. I've, but anyways, Marnie has inspired me to finally get these, these photo books put together. And Shutterfly actually has an app um, for the iPad now that um, you can use to, to bring all this together. And of course, since most of my photos are on my iPad, it makes it rather easy. Um, so I've spent most of this morning getting my pictures from New England into the app and ready to start a book. I have 309 pictures in there so far. Now, though, New England was the 10-week trip, so that was the longest of the trips. And like I said, every place you turn, I, I take tons of pictures anyway. But holy cow, what a gorgeous area of the country. And I still think I'm missing some pictures. So we started that trip. We, we came up to Maryland in the RV. We drove up to Maryland from Florida. We dropped the boys off with their dad in Maryland. And then we headed up to New York City. That was our first step, our first stop. I only have one photo from New York City. And I'm sure... I'm sure I took more pictures than that. I, I'm sure I took more pictures than that. Um, we did a bus tour. Um, we went out on the Intrepid. We went over to Staten Island. So yeah, I'm missing pictures. Even with having 309, <laughs> I'm missing pictures. So anyways, I can pretty much guarantee that when once Mania is over, that the time, um, that was a big jump. Hold that thought. I need to go back. All right. So what I'm doing here, so I, I was right here and I need to jump over to here. I'm not going to cut my thread, but that's a big jump for me to make. And when I do that kind of a jump, I do like to catch it underneath some of the threads on the way so it's not as likely to warp and, and pull the fabric out of, um, you know, to, to pucker it at all. So that'll help keep the, the threads lying flat. All right, so that's where I'm going. So where was I? Yeah, photo album, New York, missing pictures. That's about all I remember. <laughs> Oh my god. But anyways, I, I um need to find those, need to go through and see if there's anything else. Mike is also going to, if there's anything else missing, Mike is going to go. He has an app that he uses to plan all of our trips and to kind of plot them all out on a map. So he is going to recreate that trip on a map so we can, at the beginning of the book, um, Maybe as even as the title page, or I don't know whether we'll use it as a cover, um, as the cover picture. But at the beginning of the book, um, we'll put that map in to show all the different stops we made. So I think that'll be a, a cool touch, and hopefully that will trigger my memory to let me know if I'm missing anything else. The hard part is, I think I pretty much remember all of the major stops and all of the campgrounds. And actually, speaking of the campgrounds, I need to get some photos from him. He's the one who is responsible. We like to take a photo of the RV at all the different campgrounds we stopped at. You know, once we get settled, we like to get a picture of the RV in its spot just for, you know, just for memory's sake. So I need to get those from him. I have some of them, but not all of them. But anyways, yeah, I need to find, that's really rather troubling what happened to all the rest of the New York pictures. So, we did not actually go into the Statue of Liberty at that point in time. Um, we just kind of wandered around Staten Island and then took pictures, of course. So, let's see. Not a whole lot else is happening. Let me look at chart again. Um, 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 that goes there. Did I jump over there? I did. Because 
Set two, skip two. Yeah, not a whole else, lot else is happening. Um, still haven't heard anything about timing for Hawaii. The government moves so slowly, it's absolutely ridiculous. Um, yeah. I might have to go to a Know Your Needleworker tag. Oh, I know what I wanted to talk to you about. Just a little silly. So I think I've mentioned that Mike and I like movies. Um, and we were going over Memorial Day weekend. We only ended up seeing one. We were going to do two, but um, we got too tired. We, we like to take our afternoon naps on the weekends. Um, but we did go to see Deadpool 2. And I tell you what, if you like that kind of movie, Deadpool 2, I think, is one of the best of the best. Um, I don't know what, I know Ryan Reynolds helped write, I mean, he was one of the script writers and one of the producers. Um, holy cow, is that movie funny. And Easter eggs galore. Great soundtrack for those of us who were 80s kids. Um, I mean, it was just and, and the two little clips at the end, oh my God. It was just a hilarious movie all the way through. There were sad parts. Um, yeah, if, if you like that, now, it was grunge, it was raunchy. Um, I mean, Deadpool's character is, is a raunchy character, so I know there's a lot of you that don't care for that. But... Um, yeah, that's the kind of movie we love. Not the rotten end necessarily that it's raunchy, but the, the humor and the action. Um, you know, it's a Marvel movie. And, oh, my God, they take stabs at the DC Comics um, franchise. It was just hilarious. Just so many things about it we loved. So, anyways, if that's your type of movie, highly, highly, highly recommend um, Deadpool. We didn't make it. Shoot, hold on, thinking. So that, okay, that's why. Um, we didn't make it to see Infinity War. That's the other one we wanted to see. So um, hopefully we'll get out this weekend and see Infinity War. All right, that's supposed to be two up there, too. All right, I got to do a little dancing around here, guys, to fix my boo-boo. So anyways, um, I'm running out of things to say. I'm actually surprised that it took me this long to run out of things to say. Where are we at? We're at 17 minutes today. Don't have anything else going on today, really. Um, I'm going to sit and stitch. And then tonight I'm going to sit and knit. That sounds like a good day. I might get some household chores done, you know, dishes done so we have clean plates to eat off of. And yeah, maybe get some vacuuming done because, you know, cat fur. Oh, I'm off screen, sorry. Cat fur never ends, right? Especially when you have two furry ones. I'm happy to report that Sasha was actually playing some yesterday. You know, he usually um, just lays around. Now, he's always been kind of the the regal male cat anyways. Um, you guys do all the, all the playing with the cubs, and I'm just going to be the male lion. You're laying here watching over my herd. Um, but, and, and you know, he'll, he wants us to stop and pet him, and, you know, he'll purr, or he'll come over and sit on our laps, and he'll purr and purr and purr. Um... But yesterday, he was actually playing with Mike a little bit. And um, it's been a long time since he's, I think, even had the energy to show any interest in playing at all. So that was a good sign. So hopefully that means the insulin is doing its job and we have the dosage right and Things are evening out in his system. He still seems to be eating and drinking a lot, but so we might have some tweaking to do yet. But for the most part, speaking of cat her hair, oh, so one thing I have to say, maybe that's why I enjoy the new projects so much, since they are brand new. There's not a bunch of cat hair on them yet. 
for me to pick at. That is not a bad thing. All right, so let's see. That's just these two. So anyway, hmm. I finished part five of Harbor Haven, the Harbor Haven stitch along. If you follow me on Instagram, I'm Jan Hicks Creates over there as well, if you don't. But if you do follow me on Instagram, you saw that I put up um, I finished part five. I am behind. Part six is out. Part seven will be coming out on June 10th. Um, I expect I will get a big chunk of six done before seven comes out, but I will not have six finished before seven comes out. But I think by the end of June I'll be caught up. Um, I'm not too worried about it. It only takes me eh, a week to ten days to do each part. Um, they are fairly big, for the most part, fairly big chunks of color. So, and you know, it's a little fiddly, fiddly doing over one on that small of a count. It's a 36 count linen, but um, I absolutely adore it. I love how it's looking. Each part that comes out when I finish it just tickles me more. And this next part, um, has a girl knitting, sitting and knitting under a tree. Now, Michelle Garrett, in her one of her recent videos, she had picked up this part. She gets she gets all these from the, the different parts when they come out from acorns and threads. Um, she made a comment about the the face of the girl is kind of yeah, kind of weird looking, and it is. It's um, something about the nose. So I'm gonna see if I can make some changes to, um, to, um, how the face looks, what's happening with that nose to make it not look so, it looks really cartoonish now. It's just, it's just not, um, it's just not a good look on her. Um, so yeah, I'll be playing with that a little bit. two, skip one, do two. Um, yeah, so let me go to the end of this floss here and um, then I'm going to call it quits for today to show you what's on the talk docket for tomorrow. I did decide that um, I'm not going to do another update until Mania is over. I don't know. I keep going off screen today for some reason. I'm sorry. I don't know if, um, of course, I know you're not really watching. You're doing your own stitching or knitting, which is cool. I don't know if um, I'm going to show all of my Mania projects. I may lay them out and take a picture. It's not like any of them have really gotten any more um, attention or work on them since I worked on them, you know, when I was doing them in Mania. So I don't know whether it's worth going through them all again, but um, I will be doing an update after Mania is over and probably fairly soon. So the first is my last day, my last stitch with me, June 1st. So sometime during that week, I will do a, um, do one of my regular updates and get back on track. I will be doing a a stitch with me every week as well. I will be doing um, tutorial videos on how to use Knit Companion both for knitters and for stitchers. Um, did I bring my scissors in? Oh, there they are. Um, so you might want to go, if you are interested in that, you know, I talked a little bit about it before, you might want to go and um, check out Knit Companion on the App Store. I will say this is Knit Companion for um, iPad users for iOS. They do have an Android version, but I am not I am not familiar with Android at all. The functionality, my understanding is, th they've had the iOS version for quite a while, and they only brought in the Android version. They only got finished with that like last year, so. Um, 
some of the things were the same between the two versions, some were different. It wasn't something that I could teach iOS and I and the Android users would understand it. There was enough differences that I could not teach to the Android users as well. Eventually, I think they're planning to have both of the versions the same, but it's something that they, they kind of have to work on and build to. So anyways, this will be for iOS users. But anyway, tomorrow, tomorrow, my last whip of, um, of Stitch Mania. And this is actually one that was supposed to be a new start, but something happened at the beginning of the month, and I don't remember now, that I couldn't wait to start it or I needed something to do. I don't even remember. Pretty Little India. Wait, I think that's upside down. I don't remember now. <laughs> and I'm not going to bother looking it up. I have this as a PDF. I don't have... Well, let me find it for you because you want to see what it is more than just this little blob, don't you? Duh. Hold on. It is in, believe it or not, Knit Companion because that is where I have all of my PDFs. Pretty Little India. Oh, goodness. So pretty. There is that. Move that light out of the way so it's not a glare. Isn't that pretty? So I'll go away. So then this, okay, it does go like that. So what I have here so far is just this little bit in here. So anyways, <sighs> huh, well, it did that on purpose, fell on the cat fur laden floor so that I could show you the flosses. <laughs> so this is all, the flosses and this is all just DMC but this is all the flosses used in this gorgeous little piece. I am loving Satsuma Street's vibe. Her colors, you know, it's that whole rich, vibrant, um, colorful look that I love. I have owned several of her pieces. Um, and I will be doing more, I'm sure. I just got, I got several of her Christmas pieces. I just got the new cactus um, cat one, cactus garden with a cat in it. Um, so yeah, there's a lot more Satsuma Street in my future. But anyways, this is the project for tomorrow. So gang, I will see you then. You guys have a great day and you stitch your hearts out. Bye-bye.